Good morning, good morning. <clears throat> I cannot believe I'm doing two videos in one day. But I was sitting here just finishing up the cup of coffee, and um, I came across a couple passages of scriptures, and uh, I wanted to share with them. I wanted to share them with you. In Exodus chapter 12, verse 49, one law shall be to him that is homeborn and to the stranger that sojourneth among you. Now, putting that in a nutshell, what he was saying was, I'm giving the same law to the Jew and to the non-Jew because what the strangers did in Egypt is what Ruth said and did to Naomi. Ruth didn't want to leave her. She said, your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. So she adapted to the people that she decided that, that she chose to be among. She, she converted to their culture, their lifestyle, their way of living, their way of worshiping God. Hello? Hello? Christianity says that they've been grafted in, but they haven't. Because when you grafted in to another to another branch, you will produce the fruit of the root. Hello? Christianity has not been grafted in to the tree of life. Because the fruit of the tree of life is obedience to Torah. John, John the Baptist said that we should bring, we should bear fruits of repentance. That re, fruit, the fruits of repentance is obedience to Torah, because we have to repent for disobeying the Torah. See that that's that's the that's that's the biblical definition of sin is disobedience to Torah. And the church does not acknowledge the Torah. The church does not follow the instructions that are in the Torah. So therefore, they have not been grafted in to the commonwealth of Israel. Hello? Do you hear me? Because if they were grafted in, they would say, they would say to the Jews, your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. Christianity has not done that. I'm not bashing Christianity. I'm just telling you the truth because the truth is not being taught from the pulpit on Sunday morning. They may teach a good moral sermon, but it ain't the truth. They don't teach the truth. And then, then I was in Deuteronomy chapter 31. L listen. Gather the people together, the men, the women, the children, and the stranger that is within thy gates, that they may hear and that they may learn and fear Yah, your Elohim. Listen, listen. And observe to do all the words of this law. I might have to get me another cup of coffee because this is good. Let me read it again, Jeremiah 31. Gather the people together, the men, the women, the children, and the stranger, the foreigners, the non-Hebrews that are in your gates, that they may hear, that they may learn, and fear Yah, your Elohim, listen, and observe to do all the words that are written in this law, that they may learn to obey and follow the instructions that are written in the law. Man, that's a mouthful, and it's good. See, there's no way, there's only one way that you can be in covenant with the Father. Follow his instructions. Keep the Sabbath, Friday sunset to Saturday sunset. Keep it. 
It's, it is a perpetual covenant. It's never ending. Observe the seven biblical feasts, which is, which is in Leviticus 23. Keep the kosher diet, which is in Leviticus chapter 11. You got to ask yourself, seriously, we have to ask ourselves, how serious are we about being in covenant with the Father? You ask the average Christian, do you love, do, do you love Jesus? Because if you, if you say you're sure, they're going to look at you like, like who? You say, do you love Jesus? Yeah, I love him. Well, how do you love him? Well, I go to church on Sunday. I, I, that, that, don't, that don't mean nothing. Yeshua said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Follow my instructions because he is the living Torah. He is the voice of Elohim. And there's a great deficit of truth in the church. But I pray that you will share this video and get it out there. That if you won't come out, come out, come out of the church. Study for yourself, man. Study the work for yourself. Be a modern day Berean. Start obeying his instructions to the best. Of Listen, you won't be in covenant with Father. One, start keeping the Sabbath the kosher diet, the seven biblical feast. Stop practicing the pagan rituals. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this out. I love you. I pray that this will minister to you. Be blessed and much, much, much shalom.